What's up, y'all? Fiona Fox here from Kitsuga.com with the Solo Velocity Backpack. So, if you're like me and you travel a lot, maybe you go to conventions, whatever, you're traveling around day to day, you probably have a backpack at home, you've probably had it since high school, it's probably full of all the stuff that you take with you every single day. So Solo was kind enough to send me this to replace the backpack that I've actually probably had for almost 10 years. So we're going to start by going over the features of this backpack. This is the Velocity. It's about $90. Uh, it's really quite a large backpack. It has a lot of vertical height. And it is a fashion backpack and a functional backpack. So we'll start with the pockets. We'll just go from the top to the bottom. The first one, we have a pocket right here. This is a, like a device kind of pocket. You can basically put like little, little things in here. You might be able to fit a paper back book and really shove it in there. Then we have the main sort of front pocket, which is a large pocket. This is the top of the backpack, guys, just so you know, so we're kind of going in the middle here. This is the main front pocket. Inside of this pocket, I'm going to do my best to show you guys, but the inside of this pocket, there's a few zips in here, so you can put some things into the zips. If you wanted to zip in, like, toiletries or something you wanted to separate from your main area, and then you'll notice in the bottom down here there is waterproof cellophane. We'll talk about why that's there later. And there's another one of those zipper pockets on the top, so you can zip things into the top. And then there's this little divid divided pocket right here as well. If you unzip that, you can put things in there, zip it back up. These are good for spaces for like batteries or other small pieces or components you might be carrying around. Zip that back up. And that's front access to the main compartment there. Now there's also side access to that same compartment. You flip the backpack over, you see that it's hard to actually see it from that angle, but I'll here we go. So here's side access to that same compartment. Oh, actually, I lied. That's a side pocket. It must be the other side. So we've got our two pockets on the side. These are little small pockets you can kind of put whatever you want in. And right here where my fingers are pushing in, there's a hard piece of the frame. That's for the laptop pocket. It's in the back. So if we go up to the top here, and we unzip the top. We have top access to that same large front pocket right there. So that's if you can put things on the top. If you want to put like a coat or anything on the top right there, you can just throw it right in. And that gives you top access to that pocket. It does, of course, mean that you will also be able to pack it right up to the top so that you can pack it to the top and then zip it. You won't have to worry about trying to hold things in when you pack them. And then the last pocket of relevance is that frame that up pocket that I was touching in the back there. This is a laptop pocket. Fits up to 17.3 inch laptops. It is not isolated from the bottom. I'm touching my finger right here. That's important because that means that every time your backpack drops and hits the ground, it's going to be hitting the bottom of your laptop. Uh, there is padding on the bottom and this is a hard surface, but it is not an isolated pocket. Uh, that is the only feature of this backpack that I don't really like. There are also no pockets inside of this. It really is just a laptop pocket. It has one little divider right here. And if you have a small laptop, you might be able to fit it into the divider. It's probably 10 inches down there. If you have a really small laptop, you can fit it in there. And that is an isolated pocket. Last, we'll talk about the straps because, you know, it is a backpack. You're, presumably, you're going to be wearing it on your back. So we have a strong top handle. It's, it's pretty much solid. Um, it kind of has a little bit of waiver to it, but it's not going to go in and out like that. The straps have some, I don't know, we call it mesh, I guess, have some mesh on them. Uh, it's for breathability. And then, of course, you have the standard backpack configuration of straps, just one, two. And then we have a over-the-chest strap so that it takes the weight off of your shoulders. And we'll put it on to your chest and if you have, uh, if you had a hip and do the same thing. And then one of the things I really like about this backpack is the other two handles on the sides. There's one on each side. So if you want to carry this like it's a piece of suitcase baggage, you can carry it like it's a piece of baggage, which is kind of a neat feature. Uh, something that I don't think I've seen in a lot of backpacks. And there's one on both sides. So you're never going to have difficulty carrying this thing around in the airport, uh, which is really nice. So that's it for the pockets. Uh, oh, it's not, it's not. I'm a, such a liar. There's one more pocket. There's a lot of pockets on this backpack. The last pocket is this little bottom pocket here, guys, which zipper is stuck on. Here we go. This is the one I was talking about with the bag, guys. This is something that's become very popular lately. This is a sneaker pocket. 
This is so that you can put a pair of shoes in your backpack and they don't touch anything else. Um, this is completely waterproof. It's like a, I don't know, it's a waterproof material, it's like a plastic. So you put your shoes in this bag, which you put inside your backpack, and then you've got a pair of shoes that are clean and presumably, you know, not, then the water and the mess and the wetness and the mud won't spread to the rest of your backpack. Now, there's a central little piece right here in the middle. It's like a, I don't know what to call it, um, it's fabric, so you can, it's like a velcro of fabric. It unvelcros, you can actually, I can actually probably unvelcro it from here. Yes, I can. And then that lets you push that pocket up into the middle. But if you velcro that closed on the inside, then it stops the pocket from going all the way up. That's it for the actual features of this backpack, for the pockets and the many pieces around there. There's also a handle on the bottom. Uh, there's handles on every side of this backpack, guys. Um, you're never going to have trouble carrying it. So uh, next what we're going to do is I'm going to actually take my convention kit out of the backpack it's in right now, and we're going to see if we can get it all in here. All right, guys, so I'm out of this camera now, and I'm standing up because we're going to show you actually packing this backpack, a real-world example of how much stuff will fit in it. This is my convention kit. The only thing that's missing is the camera we're filming on. And obviously I can't film on the camera and pack the camera at the same time. That just doesn't work. Uh, and a few other little pieces and bits that might go with me. And of course clothes. But you're not going to you're going to have a suitcase for your clothes presumably every anyways. Uh, we've got of course our shoes. This is business cards. I always bring power stuff with me. There's cables for a couple of phones and everything in there. Battery chargers, a bunch of USB drives, paperback book, uh, batteries. This is my wallet and keys of course. My Nintendo Switch, my 3DS, my laptop and my cell phone, which is over there. Uh, those pretty much, this is everything I would take with me if I was going to a convention. Uh, minus maybe a couple of little pieces here and there. I kind of gathered this up quickly. So, let's start with that sneaker pocket. Some of this is going to have to get done off camera, guys. Don't expect everything to show up. So, real world example, sneaker pocket. There you go. Right in the bottom there. Those shoes are about as dirty as a pair of shoes can get. Uh, I've been wearing them for months. So, they're not exactly new. Um, this pocket is kind of exposed to the outside, so I'm going to put my 3DS in there because it fits just about the right size to fit a 3DS. Now, that does mean that it'll be on the outside and subject to getting hit, but I'm just going to have to take that risk. And then we'll open up this big pocket. Remember that this gives us access to the central pocket, and I can feel the weight of the 3DS in there, which is nice. And we're going to use those little side bits on the sides here to put in some of our battery equipment. A bit hard to see it because I'm actually packing on top of it. These are extra batteries for my phone. We'll throw that in there. And these are extra batteries for the camera. So we'll throw that in there as well. And then we'll zip up that side pocket because, of course, an important part of any backpack, having a backpack, is organization of that backpack so you know where everything is. You can get to it immediately. Now, in the other side pocket, we're going to put memory devices. This is a, just a little USB hub that I keep with me. This is just a good way to keep track of USB stuff. And this is full of SD cards. So, And then I would probably tuck the little camera in here as well, too. And then in the main pocket, on top of like basically where the shoes are, we'll put our 3DS, business cards, car keys, because... I don't know about you guys, but when I travel, I don't drive, so I keep my keys, because they have my house on them, my house keys on them, so I keep them with me, but I don't really uh, keep them in my pocket. And then we've got a few accessories, switch accessories, and an extra wallet. And then, uh, paperback book, I'm going to try to get this on the top, because I'm going to be reading it, right? So here's a bunch of cables and power accessories. Put those in the top, like that. Let's flip this guy shut. All zipped up. If I can... Extricate that, there we go. Look at that. Zip it up, flip to the top here. We've got a cable running away from us. Now, since I want to use, there's a couple things I want to use kind of in transit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that top pack pocket, right? And I'm going to go ahead and just put right on the top paperback book and headphones. And also, I'm sure you guys can see this. Ones are tangled. Sorry about that. Hopefully you guys can see this, but the switch handle, the handle for my switch case is also right there, so if I wanted to grab my switch, I could. And these are Audio Technica's folding headphones, so they fit really well. And we've still got plenty of space. Definitely could even fit more stuff in here if we wanted to. And then last but not least, of course, 
open up the laptop pocket, and in will slide the laptop, hopefully, there we go, and it did slide all the way down to the bottom, but there you go. So everything from my convention kit, including a spare pair of shoes, fits in this backpack, no trouble at all. Now, uh, profile size-wise, this is a lot smaller than my other backpack, which I was previously using, uh, right here. So there's the other one, and here's this one. A lot smaller, a lot more handles, a lot nicer. And that's basically it, guys. This was the Silo. This is the Silo model, and I like it. Uh, I'd say that overall it fits everything it needs to fit. It's a pretty sharp-looking bag, and it's really got uh, a lot going on for it. The only thing that I would say is that I can, um, this laptop pocket is, is rigid, but it still goes all the way to the bottom. It's not floating. That's my only real problem with it. So if you're interested in the Solo Velocity backpack, pick it up on Solo's website, and uh, it costs just about $90. Thanks, guys, and keep it on Kitsuga.com for more unboxing and reviews.